Hey all, this is Bob, aka Mystery Safe, and I found this little guy today inside my skimmer as I was doing some work in my sump. Now seeing as I have not put any hermit crabs in my sump and there was no shells down there, I'm not quite sure where this guy came from. But I found an empty shell in my tank and put it down in the sump with him. I didn't want to put him in my tank because I don't know what kind of hermit crab this is. He's kind of discolored right now, probably from living in the protein skimmer for however long he's been in there. Which really makes me wonder because he was actually inside the body of this protein skimmer with really no way to get in there that I could tell unless he was really, really tiny when he got in there and I cleaned the protein skimmer in either February or March of this year. Which, if it was in February, would have given about eight months to grow. How tiny could he have been to fit into the protein skimmer at that point? I don't know. Did he get in there another way? I really have no idea. So, at this point, your guess is as good as mine. As I said, I was able to find him a shell, therefore a home to live in, and he will stay in my sump. He's been in there for however long anyway, so I'm going to see what he does and what he turns into down there. Back in the late 90s and early 2000s, you can get live rock that had been cultivated right in the ocean. Oftentimes it would be in new tanks, and the first few months you'd find all these hitchhikers on there that you didn't know you even had. This was kind of like a blast in the past for me, finding something in my tank I had no idea was there. Until I find out what kind of hermit crab this is, I think I'll call him Scotty because he lives in the engine room of my tank. This is Bob, aka Mr. Reef Safe.